Hello, my name is Jill Phillips, and I'm a co-owner of Squeals on Wheels, a traveling petting zoo and pony rides. My name is John Phillips. We have horses, miniature horses. We have miniature llamas and alpacas. Chickens, ducks. We have bearded dragons. Our website is www.squealsonwheels.us. As the owner of a leopard gecko, you have to watch out for uh, about four different uh, medical problems. The first one is a calcium deficiency. They need calcium. They need it added to their diets. We sprinkle calcium powder over the insects that we give to the leopard gecko. We sprinkle them on the crickets, sprinkle them on the mealworms, and uh, that way the gecko can get enough calcium. The second uh, disease you have to look out for is a mouth infection. Uh, the leopard gecko can injure its mouth and if it's not a clean area, the mouth can become swollen and pussy and cheesy looking. You look out for that, the way you solve that problem is to keep the area clean and give them antibiotics to overcome the infection. And the next is a insect infestation with ticks, pinworms, and mites. Uh, you have to watch the animal. If it has an irritated skin, the way to correct it is to keep it clean and uh, in a nice, safe environment. The last infection that a, a leopard gecko can get is a respiratory problem, and that's generally brought on by low temperatures. Uh, the, the ambient temperature must be around 80 degrees, and the uh, temperature in, in the hide area must be 85 to 90 degrees. The respiratory problem, you can tell if it has bubbles or in the mucus coming out of their nostrils or their mouth. If they do, the only uh, way to correct it is to increase the temperature in its, in its aquarium area.